Hello everyone, I'm Cyrus here from Edit Gaming. Today I will be covering a video guide on the final boss of the Queen's Gauntlet. The final boss's name is Liedri the Concealing Dark. To start off with, I will go over some of the things that you should bring and the base mechanics of the fight. You should bring with you in this fight a melee weapon to hit the cosmic rifts easily, a ranged weapon to coat the boss and plenty of condition removal for phase 2. The boss itself does minimal damage to you with her auto attack. It is actually the rest of the fight's mechanics that make it very difficult. She starts off with three shields on her that must be brought down using orbs of blazing light. During the fight against Liadri, a cosmic rift will spawn every now and then. The cosmic rifts themselves are not a threat, but the combination of them and other mechanics in the fight can make them very deadly. After a cosmic rift has spawned, there will be a small amount of time before it pulls you towards it. You can easily destroy these rifts with one melee attack as they die in one hit. During the fight you will see pools of blazing light on the ground. They look like white swirly things and are hard to miss. By kiting a vision of mortality over one you will create an orb of blazing light. These orbs are used to bring down Liadri's shield by throwing them at her. They have a very limited uh, lifespan so make sure you pick them up as soon as possible before they despawn. Visions of mortality will spawn periodically through the fight. The visions themselves will instantly down you if they hit you, so make sure you don't let them touch you. They seem to be fixed and moving towards you, which helps you in guiding them into the pools. You have to kite them over the pools of blazing light to get the orbs of blazing light, otherwise you won't be able to bring down Liadri's shield. Throughout the fight, she will constantly be placing ground targets. On the ground that you can see by the red rings, they're pretty hard to see, but if you look closely you'll notice them. They will normally cover about a quarter of the arena at a time. Um, after a small delay, they will detonate and they will instantly down any player that's caught in it. During this time, you should either use a dodge roll to get out of it, um, an evasive attack will work, or some invulnerability. If you don't have any of those available, just try get out of those circles, otherwise you're gonna be you're gonna go down. Um, blocks can work if, as long as it's not like you block once and then your block is gone, because it normally triggers multiple times. One of the things I've noticed is during the first phase, she she won't cover the same quarter again straight away if she's already just if she's just detonated the uh, circles in it. So if you go there, it's a nice safe spot to buy time to think. Occasionally, she will cast a sort of like blindness on you that prevents you from seeing properly. Uh, your screen will just be this blurry mess. You won't be able to see a thing as you can see in the screenshot here. If you know you're not in a safe area, you've either got to time a dodge to coincide with when one of the things are going to blow up or throw on a blocker and vulnerable effect to make sure you can survive through it. If the effect is too much for you, there is a workaround where you turn off post-processing post in your video options. Uh, I recommend only doing this if you like are really having trouble because it it helps aid to the difficulty of the fight to make it quite fun. That there should cover the basic mechanics of the fight and will help you get to phase two. After you've brought down Liadri's three shields, she'll begin to attack you directly in melee range. She'll continuously charge you and stuff. All the previous mechanics will still be in play, but now you can also damage her as well. The ground targets this time will cover most of the room, but there are some safe spots. Um, if you look at the diagram here that I've got on the screen at the moment, that the, all the black part, if you imagine the circle is the arena, the green parts are the safe spots, and then the black parts are parts where she's going to be covering, where, covering it with ground targets. As you can see, the uh, safe spots are constantly moving around the room, so if you make like a counterclockwise circle or a clockwise circle around the room, you should be fine in finding a safe spot, as long as you keep that cripple off you. If you stay closer to the center, it's a lot easier to get to the next safe zone. And essentially you just have to keep going around in circles, kiting and shooting at her with your either a ranged weapon or some type of condition damage, so that you can avoid her cripple attacks so you're not stuck in any of the circles and you should be able to bring her down. You, you really do need to use your condition cleansers to remove the cripple, as it's one of the most urgent things in this fight, otherwise you're probably gonna go down. Uh, the other things like the Chaos Rush will still spawn, so if you can get them, try to kill them. Otherwise, throw up some form of st stability or a block or dodge their pull, which is it's hard to time because you can't really see the animation of it happening until it actually does happen. With the covering of the mechanics there, um, you should be able to down the boss. I'll also throw up a video of me doing it so that you can see them in action.
and there you have it, a successful run through the final boss of the Queen's Gauntlet. I hope you all enjoyed the guide and the quick video, and I'll see you next time.